Right, time to get this old girl finished. Hey guys, welcome back to Tammy Legends and once again thank you for stopping by. So this is a part 2 video of the Tammy a Frog. This is an original. Um, before we get started, I'll put a link to part 1 in the description in case you want to go swatch that first. So we did basically uh, an absolute full strip down to the last screw. Cleaned everything, rebuilt it, re-greased everything and it's come up a treat. Um, so I'll leave that link in the description. So as I said in this video, it's all the cosmetic side of it. So this is a shell that it came with and it actually looks pretty cool in this colour scheme. Um, but as I say, we've got a brand new Riri shell wing, we've got a brand new driver cockpit, um, we've got the two paint colours. Um, and that's pretty much it. So what we'll do is, before I get started on the new shell, I'll bring a camera over and give you a close up of this and how it looks and um, I'll show you the parts and the, the paints we're using and then we'll get cracking. Right, so obviously the car close up and I have to say the Frog is not one of my favourite Tamiya cars at all. I think it's pretty ugly. It's definitely one of the most iconic Tamiya cars of all time um, but for me personally I'm not a lover of it. Um, but this shell, <laughs> this colour scheme, the green and the black works really well. Um, I've saved a little bit of time this morning and I've done the tyre writing already. Um, I went for yellow as you can see. These are the hardest tyres to do. The fronts are not so bad but those rears are terrible to do. Um, really close up, they're pretty shocking and I need to do some work on them. But um, when you sort of see them from a distance it looks superb. So I'll keep this shell as like a, well, a spare basically. Um, yeah, I quite like it. It's um, it's different. I think the black goes with it really well. Um, anyway, I'll show you the bits we've got. So this is the stuff we're using. So as I said, the um, shell and wing are from the Riri Frog, but obviously genuine Tamiya. Um, we've got a driver set for it, so that's on this particular one. You use the large body and that gets um, fastened down to the chassis with double sided tape, I mean that one hardly ever gets used um, it's got spotlights on there as well so we're going to have to paint those up um, we've got the PS11 which is the pink and um, PS1 which is the white um, the main shell itself is two colours when it's boxed out, the wing is all white and we've also got two sets of decals so I've got the original, sorry I've got the Riri Frog ones but genuine Tamiya um, but these do differ a lot from the original and I want this to look as close to the original as I can so I bought a set of original reproduction from uh, decals from MCI so we'll change quite a few of those Once, when, I'm, when I'm doing the decals I'll talk about that more and I'll show you the changes but to me it makes a hell of a difference and it just gives it that sort of vintage look and obviously it's, a, it's an original chassis um, what else is there to do? Oh, the spotlights. So the um, spotlights are yellow fronts, black backs. So I've not dug that paint out, but that the back of them will be PS5, and the yellow we will use PS6. Um, and then the driver figure itself, the whole base. I'll get that so it's too bright. The whole base will be painted black. Um, I'll leave the body white, seat belts black, a little bit of silver detail on the buckle and then his helmet is actually red. Um, again, not dug this paint out, apologies. I haven't got much of that left, but I've got some PS2. Now I have got some paint on red if needs be, but I'll see if I can blast it over in PS2. Um, so full helmet red and then the, the, the rims of the helmets are black and obviously a flesh colour for his face. So there's a little bit of work in there but it's very important that this driver is box art. Um, I like to get his box art as sort of as close as I can. So first stage is to cut out the shell and wing. Now this is quite a straightforward one because it's really straight lines. There's a few tricky bits. This front end's got a little bit of a, a cut out here and then you've got this big cut out for the motor but it's pretty straightforward but unfortunately I haven't got the window mask for it so we're going to have to mask them ourselves so we've got um, three sides to mask so one on either side and we've got this back unit to mask as well so I'll cut the shell out first and then we'll mask it 
Um, and then when I get to that stage, I'm going to debate whether I'm actually going to paint the roof struts black or use the decals that um, come on the re re sheet. The decals, I, I, I never find the decals great on the, for the roof struts. I think they, they don't look great, but I'll, I won't make that decision until I've masked this off just to see kind of what I'm working with. So let's chat, let's get cracking. Right, that's the shell and wing cut out. It's pretty straightforward. These little bits can be a little bit tricky. Um, it's a really strange shell list because if you really pushed there, this would drop down between the two, the front two uprights and it gives it a much sort of sleeker look. But that's not how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to have this kind of bubble that comes around. So when you put in, um, when I'm putting the holes in, I use this reamer. Um, I did the two back ones first, so you sit the shell on. And when you look at how this lines up to the shell, it, it looks to be like four mil out. Uh, it's a little bit off-putting, but um, if, I, if I'd have moved it up four mil, then this bit would have dropped down in between, and that's not how it's supposed to be. It's a strange shell. Um, so anyway, that's good enough for now. I'll do a little bit of filing. Um, the ship, the wings cut out, but um, I'm not going to mount that until the very end. I'll put the holes in afterwards. Um, but it looks to be all there. It's clearing the motor. There's a bit of space there. Um, so the next stage is we'll get the um, Tamiya masking tape and we'll mask off both side windows and the um, rear window. And I just need to double check what this is, if this bit's painted or not. On this one, he's left, he's left it transparent. Um, so I'll just double check what the box art is supposed to be and we'll get it masked off. So that's the shell masked now for the pink. Um, that was a bit of a mission. So I did the, I've done the three sides of the windows. I've masked them off but obviously I've gone over the top. So I'm going to have to be careful when I peel this off. But you get the gist of, um, if I can hold it up so you can see it, where the pink line goes. So it's uh, you got to get this as good as you can. Um, you only get one crack at this because there's no decals that cover this up either, which is nice. So anyway, as I say, oops, it's um, PS12 pink. So we'll give that a couple of coats. So the idea is obviously to get this pink outer section on. Um, and then it's all the maskings out by the um, window masks and then it's just blasted over including the pink in white uh, and that should brighten the pink up as well but um, obviously we'll have to let it dry and make sure the lines are good before we do that right let's get this painted right that's the pink on um, I'm gonna leave this overnight to dry now um, I did notice a couple of areas where you can just there and same on that side you can't really see it but I'm, I'm a bit wary about when I take the masking off so I need this to be fully hardened but um, you get the gist of it if the masking's held then the line should be reasonably good but um, if it hasn't we've got work to do as they say so as I say I'll leave this to dry overnight um, and I'm always the masking off in the morning Right, that's it done. I've just whizzed the masking off before I go to bed. Um, I'm, it's okay. It's not perfect, but we won't really truly know until the white goes on. But uh, the lines are reasonably sharp. I found it a bit of a pig, if I'm honest. That's just... Um, the outer protection um, anyway I'll definitely let that harden now overnight um, I've salvaged the masking um, on the windows so it's really just a case when that's um, when that's dry and hard to um, possibly wash it out again I'll get you some alcohol um, wipes and just get all the residue out of there because on my sticky fingers and then we'll blast that and um, the wing which is pretty straightforward because it's all white um, and then we'll see if it's going to be any good or not but um, I think it's going to be okay anyway 
Right, so the body shell's just had a couple of coats of white, so it's just drying. Probably give it one more coat, and then that should be done. But in the meantime, I'm just starting to dry the figure. So as I said, the spotlights are two colours. It's The back is black, and the front is yellow. So I'm going to blast those over. And as I say, for the black, I'll be using PS5, and for the yellow, PS6. And his helmet I've just masked off where the flesh goes now this isn't great masking it doesn't need to be the only reason I mask this off is because I don't like painting the flesh color over whatever the helmet cover is because it gets stays too dark so I keep that white um, but the main helmet now is going to be yet um, red which I'll blast over in PS2 so I'll go do that now um, and then the only thing to do once that's dry obviously is swap the masking over and put it on the other side, spray the yellow um, and then paint the flesh colour first and then the black outright rings on his helmet um, and on this figure, this is pretty straightforward, I'm leaving the body white um, it's going to be black seat belts. I'll try to do a little bit of silver on his buckles and then the full base is um, black which I'll do by brush um, as I say we're using this, normally when we use driver figures we use um, that body which goes in like your grasshopper and hornets and stuff um, but this is the actual frog one because this has two pieces of double sided sticky tape and this actually sits on the chassis, sticks down to the chassis so um, let's get cracking with that right it's starting to take shape now um, so obviously we've got the white on now the wing I've got, I've left a protective cover on at the moment oops, cover on at the moment but I've got plenty of paint into the edges so the wing seems to be fine the body as I say it's not perfect but it uh, it isn't bad again the protective films on so it's not quite popping um, now I can see the shell I need to trim um, these edges up and this windscreen I, I, I kind of struggled when it was transparent so um, I'll do that um, I've done the driver figure just need to do with silver buckles Helmet is now red, obviously got to do with the flesh and the black. Um, and spotlights are black. I'm gonna take that masking off and then we'll put masking back on and do the yellow. Um, so we're definitely getting there. I've also just cut out the window decals. Um, I should have painted it, I was a bit lazy. I should have painted the black struts, but I was having a real off day yesterday when I was starting this, and um, everything I seemed to do went wrong. So um, I chose the easy option, which is the decals. So as I say, it's all coming together now. Um, so we'll continue to let this harden, uh, and we'll we'll get the we'll go down and spray the shocks next, and then I'll come back up and we'll build this driver up. We'll get the helmet screwed down to. Well, sorry, we'll do the buckles first, and then we'll screw the helmet down, and then we'll start doing some flesh colour on his face. Right, finally, that's all the painting finished. Um, it's not perfect. But to be fair, I never managed to get anything perfect, if I'm brutally honest. Um, but again, from a distance, these things, as long as it's close enough, you can't tell. So that's the box art driver. Um, it's just drying now, I had to touch certain areas up. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty cool. And then, obviously, we've got the black and yellow spotlights. But they're just drying. So I've taken the protective film off the car now. Um, wings great, no issues at all with that and again now the, pop, the pink's starting to pop on that the lines are not the best um, there's, a, there's that there but, but I'm pretty sure I can get a decal very close to that back end again not great oops but it's not the end of the world because a lot of that's hidden with the, the wing um, that line's not bad at all to be honest and then the front's not too bad it's not the best but it's not the worst either um, and I'll be honest I haven't enjoyed doing this one not too sure why um, I've just not sort of really enjoyed it so what I'm going to do now is um, I'll put the two holes in the wing and the shell um, with the reamer but I'm not going to mount the wing until the end because the um, no glut no what is it no guts no glory decal goes over here and it covers the screw heads so that that last decal wants to be applied once it's on the chassis 
Um, so I'll put the holes in and then what I'm going to do is make a start on the, the windows and the, the black lines here because that's probably the worst bit to, to try do and then once we've got that it's plain sailing from there. Let's get cracking. Right, so decal time. Everything else is done and ready to put on the shell now. So I've put those window decals on. Um, they're not great. Painting's much better. Um, but nevertheless, it's um, once everything's on, it'll look pretty cool. Back end looks a bit messy, but again, it's all sort of covered by the wing. So I'm just about to start decaling, and as I said to you earlier, let's get this out of the way so you can see the difference between the original decals and the re re. So obviously, the originals I've got are MCI reproduction ones. So the main one to show you straight away is this big red one here. So as you can see on the re re it's very similar but it's got a bit of a star effect and it just says Tamiya Racing where the original was NGK spark plugs so that's a must to put on. Um, the second, well there's more than two but the next one I'm going to show you is the frog racing. Let's see if I can hold this up so you can see it better. So on the re re one they've it's it's pretty much the same apart from the greens a lot better on the on the re re but it does have a Tamiya logo on it says one tenth off road race around it where the original was blank but I'm gonna go with a re re on that one just because of the colour it's a lot sharper um, and then we've got these Pennzoil ones so obviously original said Pennzoil on the re raving they changed it. It's very similar, but it, it's forward, which was again um, old logos. Um, so we'll definitely be changing them. But like the fonts and things of the Tamiya Racing, they're pretty much the same. So obviously the quality is definitely better with Tamiya ones. So that's the changes I'm going to make first of all. Um, I'll put my numbers on. I'm going for number one. Um, oh, and the spotlights as well, which I showed you, I think, earlier. Whereas the re re it says bright right bright bright light roadmaster, but the originals were daylighter. Um, but I'll put the spotlights on last. So I'm going to start decaling now. All the little changes are all, all the all the sort of major decal changes are all these sponsor ones here. STP, Diced, Ferrodo, all that sort of stuff. There's none of that stuff on here. There's some that have been sort of made. If you look at this exact one here the shape of it, exact springs and then you see it's it's diced safety so it's similar but it's obviously this is sort of period correct K N air filters, STP, things like that so um, it's quite involved, there's a lot of cutting out to do so I'll uh, I'll get cracking with that now right guys, starting to take shape now um, so as I say this is just a mix and match that's um, original Re re original re re original 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 re 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 and re re. So as you can see, that's kind of how I'm going to go through and do this. Um, and I'm also copying it from the official Tamiya picture, well, the one from a frog in the guidebook. Now you've got to be careful when you're doing that because there's two frogs. There's a very early one which the decals are very different. Um, so if you're ever looking to do what I'm doing here, make sure you don't copy that one. That's the one with a very short um, bumper, which is the original Mac one. Um, but if you find the the second one after that, but it, which is still original, and copy that one. So yeah, it's starting to take shape. So I had to put these little these ones on down here. So and then I had to get the spotlights on just to make sure. And um, those daylight has got a slight angle facing upwards. So yeah, taking shape now, um, so let's uh, carry on. So that's the actual shell finish now, that's all the decals on. You're left with loads of different ones, you get a lot of different decal options um, with the decal set with Tamiya. Um, but as I say, I wanted to copy the original guidebook picture. So that's the actual shell, now obviously the colour scheme now comes into its own and my, uh, my paintwork doesn't look too bad at all to be fair um, and obviously that messy back end with those decals that's going to get covered up very soon oops with the wing but as I said that is that finished so what we're left with now 
is that for the wing? So as I said, this, oops, let's put it right there. So this goes over pretty much like that. So as you can see, it, this it, what I'm gonna do is mount it so the decals are covering the um, screw holes, um, which will be a bit tricky when it's on, but uh, not to worry. And then just a one and a two just goes on the sides. So we'll put those on and then we'll mount this and get that last decal on. And that's the shell done. So as I say, wings on, as you can see the decals. It looks a right mess. I've done it before many years ago and um, stuck it on before I mounted it. And then you got to put the PSC's holes and it just doesn't line up. It looks terrible. But um, yeah, I'm very happy with that. That looks sweet. So all we've got to do now um, is we'll whiz the old, we'll whiz the old shell off. Um, and the driver figure's drying now. So we've got that to do. Um, so as I say, that's just some double-sided tape down these edges and then that sits on the chassis. So uh, let's get that done now. Right, that's the driver in. As I say, just double-sided tape either side and sort of pushed to the very front. That's pretty cool. Right, let's do this on camera. This is a horrible shell to put on because it's, it's a really tight fit back and the body post can scratch. Um, I'm not a massive fan of it. Let's do that side first. Sorry, doing this stuff on camera is a nightmare. Let's line that up again. Bloody hell. Right. So, gotta be very careful with this. There. Right, so that's the sides on. And then this stupid front end, which is pants, because it kind of bubbles. That and is that straight? Oh yeah, there she is, guys. Let's get this camera. Look at that! Again, I'm not a massive lover of this car, um, but uh, I have to say that doesn't look bad, does it? Does the yellow writing go on the tyres? I think it does. So these yellow bits here. What do you think guys? It looks very bland here doesn't it? Like it needs decals but um, as I say there's plenty of decals I could put on but I'm not gonna. Ta-da! That looks pretty damn cool if I'm honest. I'm, uh, I am liking it. Um, been a fair bit of work in that as well to be fair. Sits nice and straight as well which is nice. Right, so guys, I've just made this very quick little bit of video because I made a massive error and I'd finished all the shooting of the video. So I'm just adding this bit in here and then the bit that you're going to see straight after this is when the car was wrong. What an idiot. I actually painted the windscreen all white. I don't know if you guys picked up on it. I honestly 100% didn't pick up on it. I've just finished the car, I finished the video, and I, I do what I normally do. I start posting pictures on my Facebook group and what have you, showing people. And then one guy on uh, the ORV group said, you realise you painted your windscreen? And I honestly had no idea. So I jumped, because obviously the paint's, it's only been painted this morning, so the paint's still pretty soft. So I just got the Tamiya polycarbonate cleaner out. Um, I still need to tidy it up, but I just wanted to get the main stuff off. Um, and what I may have to do is just put a, a black line here, which will look pretty cool. I don't actually need to do that. I cannot believe I missed that. What an idiot. So anyway, you'll see how it looked when you, on this next bit. And she's done. Um, very happy, got to say. Um, turned out great. Not perfect. Blemishes. Um, but um, yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all. It's really nice to, um, and you guys who do this stuff will appreciate it. It's really nice to buy something a little bit beat up, parts missing or whatever, and, and kind of bring it back to how it was back in the day when it was new. There's a real sort of sense of achievement doing that. I enjoy it. Um, but this particular car was going to get thrown away, believe it or not. I found it on a a selling group in Canada and the guy just put it up uh, and it was cheap as well I can't remember obviously I had loads of bits missing 
Um, and he said, if you don't sell it next two days, I'm just going to throw it in the bin. And I bet that happens a lot. But um, yeah, what do you think? It did look good in the old original body shell in green and black. But you know me, I'm a box art man. Yeah, that's good. I'm happy. I'm glad it's done. I've only actually now, that's the fast attack vehicle restoration done, the frog's done, and I've still got the thunder shot to do, um, and that's the last of the stuff I've got that are sort of proper restorations, but um, I do procrastinate a little bit with them, and I kind of put them to the back because there's so much work involved, but when I get to this stage and I see it finished, it's like, yeah, that was well worth doing. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stick in the comments what you thought, if you don't mind, uh, and give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Don't give me a thumbs down. So once again, guys, thanks so much for watching. It's really appreciated. If you are new to this channel, if you could consider liking and subscribing to support us, and if you do that, smash that notification bell for our weekly videos. But as always, guys, happy RCing.